Slide 19. Trimming a video clip is a classic exercise everybody wants to be able to do in a video editing package, and I think NeuroVision Extra makes it very, very simple and powerful at the same time. You simply double click on the video clip in question that's in your storyline, for example, using our premise the way we're working in this production, and up pops this control area, and you can simply slide a start and stop marker and say that's the part I want to have, click OK, and bang, your clip is trimmed fore and aft. Very, very simple to do. Let's move on to slide 20. Slide 20. Let's go back up to that upper area where we had videos, pictures, audio, clip art, and music. Now I'm passing over clip art because I don't use clip art in my productions, but just be aware you can highlight that tab you can incorporate clip art into your video productions or slideshows if you wish again I'm gonna skip that over because that's not that important to me it's pretty darn simple to understand but let's go ahead though and look at the tab the music tab and here what you can do is you can either import your own music clips or in this case I'm simply going to use one of the three music clips that were available in the program all you have to do to add a music clip to your production, grab the item in question, drag it into place. Now look very carefully. I apologize that the resolution of this screen capture isn't as good as I would have liked it to have been. But if you notice down there, you'll see below the video line, there's a line for narration where I inserted some of my recorded narrations that we talked about in the previous slides. And then down below, there's a music line as well. So you simply drag your music clip. You drag it to where you want it to start in your production. In my case, I wanted the musical background to start with the beginning title slide, no surprise. It's super easy, so easy to do. And once again, I stress you can create and import your own music clips. You're not limited to just those that are provided with the program. Let's move on to slide 21. We've now created our production. We've got a title slide, we've got music, we've got narration, we have video clips, one with a special old film uh, effect applied to it, transitions, all this good stuff. We are ready now to output our production. So at the bottom of the screen, and I've done a, another one of these zoom in extractions from the overall screen, at the lower area you'll see a tab, or a button rather, called export. You click the export. Now look to the right here. I've taken what pops up to give you an idea of the range of your choices. And then you decide how you want to save your production. You can export to a video file. And this is what you'll do if you're going to eventually make a DVD disc or a Blu-ray. You can export just the audio portion of the production. That's kind of interesting. What if you've got a video production that you also want to double as a podcast? You can do that by just simply exporting the audio of your video as an audio file. You can export video to a camera. That means you've got a camcorder linked to your personal computer. You're going to put the camera in record mode and put the software into playback mode and play your production back to the video camera, for example. Export to the web. If you want to put stuff up on YouTube, Facebook, whatever the case may be, there are utilities here to help you do that. You can export video and send it as an email attachment. This little feature will crunch it down to an appropriate size to make it an email attachment. So tons and tons of possibilities. In my case, I selected MPEG-2, and I've set it up so that it would be a good quality MPEG-2 output video file for me. I'm a big fan of MPEG-2. It's one of the formats I like to use. So. This kind of concludes the super simple, very high-level examination of this program. I can't stress to you that there enough that there are many, many more capabilities to this program than what I was able to do in this tiny, tiny little brush-over review. So I encourage you to learn much more. Slide 22. We've now created our production. We've got a title slide, we've got music, we've got narration, we have video clips, one with a special old film uh, effect applied to it, transitions, all this good stuff. We are ready now to output our production. So at the bottom of the screen, and I've done a, another one of these zoom in extractions from the overall screen, at the lower area you'll see a tab, or a button rather, called export. You click the export. Now look to the right here. I've taken what pops up to give you an idea of the range of your choices. And then you decide how you want to save your production. You can export to a video file. And this is what you'll do if you're going to eventually make a DVD disc or a Blu-ray. 
you can export just the audio portion of the production. That's kind of interesting. What if you've got a video production that you also want to double as a podcast? You can do that by just simply exporting the audio of your video as an audio file. You can export video to a camera. That means you've got a camcorder linked to your personal computer. You're going to put the camera in record mode and put the software into playback mode and play your production back to the video camera, for example. Export to the web. If you want to put stuff up on YouTube, Facebook, whatever the case may be, there are utilities here to help you do that. You can export video and send it as an email attachment. This little feature will crunch it down to an appropriate size to make it an email attachment. So tons and tons of possibilities. In my case, I selected MPEG-2 and I've set it up so that it would be a good quality MPEG-2 output video file for me. I'm a big fan of MPEG-2. It's one of the formats I like to use. So this kind of concludes the super simple, very high level examination of this program. I can't stress to you that there enough that there are many, many more capabilities to this program than what I was able to do in this tiny, tiny little brush over review. So I encourage you to learn much more.